Hello and welcome. Today we are going to discuss how to get a Canva account and how to create badges in Canva. So if you just type in canva.com you'll go here and you can sign up but if you actually go into your Google and you click create, uh, if you type in Canva for teachers you actually get a free account and it unlocks all of the extra pieces for you and if you just sign up for Canva in like their free version you won't get any of that but if you sign up with your teacher account, your teacher email you will have access to all of their free options, all of their premium um, items. So you really want to make sure you get that. Now, if you've never had an account before, you will um, still go to the same page except you won't have any designs for yourself. I really like Canva and as a teacher with an educator's account, I also am able to share this with my students and then you can see that students can share with me they can make act they can make their different pictures we do a lot of um, vocabulary memes and book projects and then I can go in and I can review their projects and they usually turn them into canvas as well but it really makes it easy it's a great way they absolutely love canva they love the designing piece of it and today I'm just going to show you how to make a badge. I usually like to use the logo um, option for badges. It's a nice uh, square. I like that size. So here's a badge I've already created. And I'm going to go ahead and go down. I'm just going to, if I want to, I can just click this little plus button. And it will give me an additional page, which is what I have here. So when I want to talk, when I talk to you about the reason for getting an educator's license is because you will have more items to access. So if you look, if I go here and I just type in um, horse, for example, you're going to see a lot of different pictures and images come up. And if you see, well, if you see an image that has, so it says EDU, if I did not have EDU, I would not get access to any of those. Now, if in, these ones are free, I would have access to those, but I wouldn't have access to EDU. Free, free, EDU, free, EDU. I wouldn't have access to any of those. If you want to refine your search, you can do a few things. You can look for only free items. So if you are wanting to create and sell something, you would want to use this, but or you could use education. I want a static item right now, so I want to apply that filter because I don't want any of the animation, but I don't actually want a horse. So I'm going to go ahead and clear that. The first thing I did up here in this top one, you can you can actually search for badges. And that'll give you a lot of different ideas, some different frames right here. But you can also just go into elements and look for different shapes. That is another easy way to do that. So here's some frames and different. So what I like to click on is up here where it says lines and shapes. And I find, I just click see all. And I look for a shape that I might want to work with. So this one's a very popular one. Any of these really are fine. Sometimes I use the same shape for every course. Sometimes I use a different shape for every badge I create. It just depends on my mood. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this the size, as large as I can make it to fit in my square. And then I'm going to change the background to whatever I want it to be. So if I want it to be white or green. If I like a color, so let's say I like this orange one, if I, but I don't, it's too bright maybe, I can click the plus sign and it'll give me a gradient. So I can maybe tone it down, make it darker, make it lighter. I can also, wherever I move this, you'll notice this number is, and sometimes you can go on the internet and you can actually get these font or these um, color codes. So you might want to also do that. So I'm going to go with blue because our school color, one of our school colors is blue. And I am going to think about what I want this badge to do. So am I going to assign this badge to a module? Am I going to assign it because they finished an activity that's part of a module? What do I, how do I want to work this module? So when I think about that, I need to then come up with either pictures that I already have or um, I can look up pictures as well. So for this particular badge, I'm going to make it for our school mascot, and it's just going to be that they um, followed our wolves' expectations. Maybe at the beginning of the school year, we go through all of our activities, we go through all of our expectations and our courses um, and our classroom expectations as well as playground. So after they finish that, I might give them a badge for that. This image, however, has a white. So one of the great things about Canva is you can 
once you upload it or once you find the picture you like, you can click on it. And I can do a couple of different things. This is just under effects, but I'm just going to remove the background and see what that looks like. And it'll all be end up being blue. That's fine by me. So I'm just going to kind of, mm, I think I'm going to put it towards the bottom. And then I'm going to come over here to my left and I'm going to pick a heading. And these are the wolves expectations that they have mastered. So I'm just going to put that in there. I'm not going to do anything too fancy with it. I'm actually going to lighten that background up just a smidgen. It's kind of dark. There we go. I like that better. And there's a couple of different things I could do with this. I could change the font color. I could add you know, a border, but I'm just, I'm happy with this. Then I'm going to go up to the top right and I'm going to click download. And then I'm going to pick PNG is what we like to do those in. And I have two pictures on this page, so I just want the second picture. And then I'm going to click done and I'm going to download it. Now, it downloads here at the bottom and then I'll be able to upload it to my course. In addition to just using Canva, for badges, I make posters, I can make presentations. There are so many different great aspects of Canva. In addition, you can also go to this learn and you can actually take a tutorial, you can learn how to design. I've taken graphic design basic courses in this just so I have a better understanding of how colors impact the way students learn. I can create videos, printing materials. It's such a wonderful course. So if you would like any more information, please let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe.